Charlize Theron may be an evil, cold-hearted queen in the Huntsman Winter Swarm. But fans in Southeast Asia love her nonetheless. I have to say, last night, showing up for the premiere and seeing that many people come out to support us, it was quite moving, really, really moving. In an interview, Charlize tells us more about the character she plays in the movie. Mera, Mera, on the wall, who is the fairest of them all. Charlize, how is an actress that avoids roles that um, play up on uh, your beauty end up as a vain, evil queen? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, you know, I think the reason why I wanted to do it was because I thought there was like a really nice challenge in finding the person underneath all of that. You know, like who, who if you had to take that character, that cartoon, and make it a real person, who would it be? And I, I liked that challenge a lot. But what made you do it again? I had such a great time on the first one. I really loved, you know, she's a nutbag, but I really like her. Like, um, I like exploring her. And I felt like, I felt like when they came to me with the second one, I felt like the screenplay allowed for her to kind of explore different things. And so I was excited by that. And also the cast was just unbelievable. The idea of working with these very powerful women was just such a, I, I, there's no, there was no way I was gonna say no to that because it happens so rarely in my business. I feel that there is a part of me as a woman that feels like I'm part of a race that I want to represent truthfully and I try to do that in film. And I feel that the more we can do that in film, the more it might feel like it's holding up a mirror to our society in both this is who women are and this is how powerful women can be and this is how intricate and complex we are and that you know there's a real ownership in in self-empowerment through all of this that's what i meant about you know when this came to me the idea of being surrounded by three um, two other really really strong women who had their own storylines in this and even the dwarf girls like they're so strong you know and feisty I've just, you know, it's very rare. Other than Mad Max, I've never been surrounded by so many women in a film, strong women. Yeah, so uh, the makeup and the wardrobe was amazing. How was the process like? Was it fun getting ready as, as a queen, as an evil queen? Yeah, yeah. I mean, every aspect of it is so helpful to you as an actor. And um, there's something about sitting in a chair and, you know, having you know, a great talented hairdresser create these amazing hair pieces that are just extraordinary and weaving braids through your crown. You know, it was like these kind of like intricate calamari tentacles coming through my crown. And at lunchtime, I couldn't even take it off to take a nap or anything like that. So there was a lot of like sleeping with my crown on and things like that. But all of that stuff is so helpful because something happens to you when that when you are in that body and it changes and informs you as an actor. Are you ready, Huntsman? Hey. 